Hey everyone, Justin from the Caddis Fly Shop and the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog um, here today tying a couple jig nymphs. This is one of my favorite little uh, summertime Mackenzie dropper flies. It's basically just a hot tag pheasant tail. Um, so let's get started. I'm just going to put a little bit of lead wire in 015 here behind the bead just to secure it in place. Five, six, seven wraps, whatever you want to do. <clears throat> We're mainly fishing these underneath a chubby, so don't go too, too heavy. That was about six turns there. Um, and then this is just a Danville 70 Junior Fluorescent Fire Orange. Just going to lay down a little bit of thread base here. And then first things first for my tail. I'm going to be using some Glow Bright floss, and this is uh, number five. I'm not sure what color that is, but my uh, my eyes are telling me that that's orange. That looks kind of orange. You can go kind of pink, kind of red, whatever, whatever. Maybe suits. even purple. Um, okay, <laughs> if you must. Okay, so I just took that. I don't know if you got that on the, on the thing there. But I just took that, got two strands of it here. I'm just gonna pinch those. I'm actually gonna go down just to the bend of the hook, back up to where my lead meets. And then I'm gonna just take those two strands, double them over. So essentially you have four pieces of glow bright here. And this is a pretty big hook. This is a gum, uh, Umqua XC4, it's XC450 in a size 10. If you're going smaller, um, definitely, you know, kind of size down that tail. You can use one or two strands of that stuff. It's um, relatively thin, but I like a nice tail on there. Okay, so just wrapping that on down just to the bend of the hook. Securing that in. Just gonna take that relatively short. Trim that, that's even a bit long, but that's fine. Okay, so now I'm just gonna tie in my, my uh, rib here, which is just um, brassy copper wire. Alex, can you do me a favor? Mm -hmm. Can you go get me some 1 100th micro flashaboo? You bet. Because I forgot that. So I'm going to just tie in this copper wire here from my rib. I'm just going to go back up since I forgot that that's a component to this fly that I like to include. We'll wait for Alex. And then the body of this fly is just going to be uh, just a natural pheasant tail. Just natural. This is from Nature Spirit, but whatever you can, whatever you can get. Okay. Now for this stuff. This is just really thin. You can use sulky tinsel. I've seen a lot of people use that. That's good stuff as well. This just has a little bit more, more glint to it. And it's straight. I've used that sulky stuff and it comes off the spool incredibly, um, uh, what would you say? Incredibly uh, kinky. Kinky, sure. Okay, so there's that. Maybe a poor choice of words, but I mean, what am I going to do? Kinked. Okay, and then pheasant tail for the body here. I'm just going to take whatever, you know, six, seven, eight fibers. I like to go a little bit more just in case some of them break. Okay, we'll kind of square those up. I don't like to trim the butts off of them. I like to just tie them a little bit longer. Soft wrap. Forward. Okay. Now we're just actually, I'm going to just lay down a really thin layer of super glue here. Just to um, secure this stuff in there while I'm wrapping it. So then just wrapping this pheasant tail forward. Keep it as thin as you can. Don't want these things too bulky. Tie that 
off. Okay. Try that. And then I'm going to just wrap this flashaboo here the same direction that I wrapped my pheasant tail. So just up the body, and you can space these out pretty good. It's just in there for a little bit of flash. That was close. That was close. Hey. Professional. What can I say? Okay, and then just counter wrapping this back through the body. That super glue is doing most of the work there as far as durability goes, but that uh, that wire will help, definitely. Get that nice and secured in there. Helicopter that off, as they say. I'm just gonna trim this a little bit shorter because that's how I like them. Boom. Ooh, that's more like it. Okay, um, so now I'm gonna just take some tan ice dub, UV tan ice dub. Just a pretty thin little piece of it here. Just making a slight bump. good. And now I am going to tie in a, uh, a CDC feather and this is um, this is that brown gray super select CDC from Hairline. Really nice stuff. Comes in this big old bag. You'll recognize that from our green caddis video. Okay so I'm just going to tie this in here. By the tip I'm going to just push that tip back secure that and then take a really fine point scissor and just trim that let's redo that now what were you uh trimming out there justin <laughs> trim out the entire feather and forget that portion of the fly <laughs> just kidding we'll redo that by the tip tie it in Double it over for durability. And you don't really even have to do that at this point, but I'm going to because I don't like that stem in the body there. Then I'm just going to polymer this really pretty sparse. One, one turn, one and a half turns of this stuff. Um, and as the fish eat this fly here, which I guarantee you they will, um, that uh, UV tan ice dub back behind the CDC will kind of get plucked by their teeth and just make that thing look really nice and... The word you were going to use is buggy. Si, senor. Nice. So this is just peacock black ice dub. You can use whatever you want. Just black. I like black for the front here. Oh, and this is a size 10 hook with a 532nd bead. I don't know if I said that, but. A yeah. size 10 hook, and is that in a size 10? <laughs> People aren't gonna get that if they. They might, if they watch the Green Caddis video <laughs> back to back with this one, they yeah, definitely great, will. Great, great. Okay, so got that peacock black tied in there. I'm just going to kind of pull everything back here. <gasps> Ow. And then just build up a little bit of a thread collar. Don't do this if you don't want to, but I like it. It's kind of a busy fly, but it works for me. And then we're just going to give it a little bit of a whip. Finish. Not nay nay. Oh, okay. Boom. That thread breaks very easily. <laughs> That's okay, we'll put some super glue or some head cement in there. So yeah, it's still basically just a little CDC pheasant tail um, with, uh, I really like that flash through the body um, and then counter rivet that wire. Nice looking little jig style nymph, uh, fish it under a dry dropper, under an indicator with a mega prince or posse bugger or a euro nymph it, or kind of just whatever you want. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, 
You can find all these materials here at the Caddis Fly Shop. And uh, yeah, tie some up and go fish them.